Welcome back to our video. We're creating some buttons in Adobe Fireworks CS5 for a navigation menu. And we've gotten to the point where we've created the buttons and we're now ready to export the slices so that they, we can use them in our CSS. So once I'm through naming each one of these slices, I go to the file menu. Actually, I'm going to deselect everything and then I'm going to go to the file menu and I'm going to select export and you're going to have some options here. Now the first thing you have to, have to look at here is export and right now the default is HTML and images. Now the HTML that um, Fireworks creates is just a disaster. Um, it's actually embarrassing that they would uh, do anything like that. So I always just export my images because I can write CSS much better. In our case, I'm going to select images and HTML here, so you can see what that HTML um, looks like. Now, down here, it's going to ask what I want to export, and I'm exporting the slices. And I don't want to just do it for the current page. I want to do it for all the pages, so I get all three pages done at once. And I don't want to include any areas without slices. And I'm not going to put any images in any subfolder, so I'm going to have both of those unchecked. And I'm going to go ahead and go to my desktop. And I'm going to go into my Fireworks Buttons folder. So that's where I'm at. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do is just hit Save, and it'll export all those items for me. And again, depending on what you're doing, it may take more or less time. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what's in our folder. Here I go, and I'm on my desktop, and there's my Fireworks Buttons folder. And there, I'm going to go ahead and kick this down to uh, List. You can see, actually, List doesn't work very well, Medium icons. You can see all of my different buttons there. I can see the About Current, the About Hover, and the About Off. Now, notice that the format that it exported it in was GIF. That'll work fine for what we're doing. But if you wanted to change the format of the export, or if you wanted to have some uh, items exported as GIFs and other items exported as JPEGs, all you have to do is select your slice here and choose the format that you want right down here. If I click that drop down, you'll see we have some different options, including actually JPEGs dropping off the bottom there. But you can trust me, JPEGs on. Um, that is an option. And again, you can mix and select um, the proper format for the uh, proper um, graphic. If I bring that back up again, you're also going to see that we've got some HTML pages here. And again, just to sort of show you um, the mess that this creates, I'm going to go ahead and right click there and I'm going to say open with Dreamweaver. And that should bring Dreamweaver up for me. And there we go. And there's my buttons. And you can see here in the code, it's created a giant table and set all this up with spacer GIFs. And I mean, this is just a disaster. I don't know why Adobe would ever have um, this in Fireworks. It just makes absolutely no sense at all. Um, never use this for anything. This is absolutely useless. Even if when you're in design view and live view, it looks the way you want, going in and making any kind of changes here is just going to be a disaster. Plus, it's a table-based layout, and we want to use CSS to set up our pages, and especially our navigation menus. So the HTML code is of no use at all inside of that. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete each one of those, and I'm left with just my navigation buttons. And you can see now these are ready to be, and oops, I gotta get that spacer GIF out of there. One more. Now I've just got my main navigation bar in case I need to make any changes and re-export and the different buttons for my layout. So that's creating a very simple tabbed image inside of Fireworks for a navigation bar. Hope it helps.